Hello and welcome back. Um, today we are going to be doing something very extraordinary and probably out of my skill level. Um, it's one of my friend's birthdays tomorrow, which is Sunday, and he's asked me to make him a cake. But not just any cake, a five layer cookie brownie cheesecake. It's a lot of cake. It's not even a cake, it's a cheesecake. She thinks it's a cake. Um, but yeah, it's from the Tasty website. So we're not thinking this is gonna be easy. We're actually thinking this is gonna be hard. This is the first step. Um, so I've gotta make the cookie dough, um, and this is just for the cookie dough. And after that, I have to make a cheesecake and brownies. There's a lot going in this, so I'm not really... Woo! Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start making the cookie dough. Doubling the recipe. So, although it may say one cup of sugar, we're gonna do two. Damn, um, she got math. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna do two cups. And now 500 grams of butter, which is this whole thing. That's a lot of butter. Like, dun, 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 that's a heck of motor butter. I just hit myself in the face with the microwave door. So we're just gonna cut this into chunks because we've got to beat the butter and sugar, and it makes it real. In, we need a little bit of milk essence. Put this in the mix my on the mix master and let it beat. Um, while that's going, I'm going to sift the flour so we're going to do it later. So I need, it's cost me three and a half, so I need seven. Honestly, I need to move back up to advanced with these kind of math skills. I'm not even kidding. So I've just finished whipping the butter and sugar and next step is to add in the eggs and golden syrup. and golden syrup have been beaten and so the next step is salt chopped chips and sifted flour we need a teaspoon of salt oh flour and chopped chips now you add the flour in slowly otherwise it will poop everywhere but everyone knows that so and then after that we put our chopped chips in and then we're gonna have to line the pan and put it in the freezer excuse me rewrite notes from this week Wooden spoon. So, milk chocolate and white chocolate. Bless you! I feel like one of those women, you know how they used to churn butter? Like, butter churner. Did you make? I doubled the mixture, so it's 
seven cups of flour. No, you can't eat it. You can't eat it. No, you can't eat it. No, I must have a taste. You're not allowed any of it. No, I must have a taste. Thomas is pure sugar and carbs. So the next step involves this and this. I need 450 grams of cookie dough. Oh, this looks like a lot of cookie dough. So I've lined my tray, put my plastic wrap on top of it, take the cookie dough out and put it in the freezer. Is that enough? This cookie dough rises. the bottom of the cooking spray. Okay, I've got to pour in the brownie batter, which is, means I've got to make the brownie batter. 160 grams. It's pretty close. was I was mixing this. Ah, okay, so that's all mixed up and what we're going to do is get another cake pan. Put two and a half. Let's go with more than half. And put some of this in here. And then what you do this is to cook the cheesecake pie. Mix together cream cheese, sugar, vanilla and egg. 680 grams of cream cheese. I'm just going to use all of that. It's basically the whole thing. cheese mixture. Um, we don't need that right now because the brownie is still cooking. It looks like it's about to overflow. It says that I'm going to need to like push it up so it meets the top of the rim. I'm not going to need to do that. <laughs> I have to wait for that to cook. That happened. What happened happened. All the brownie on the bottom flipped up to the side. I don't know what to do. It's all on the sides, but on the bottom. Oh dear me, on the bottom. Anyway, I'm gonna chill this for like 30 minutes apparently. I made some cookies. So they're in there. Um, it's pretty messy in here. Oh, I made this as well, with that additional brownie mix that I didn't think I'd need, but I feel like it would be really handy in this moment. Um, but that's cool. Like it's fine, it's whatever. This is almost the last step. I've got to add cream cheese into this. 
and put them on the base of this. Tight fit. So this is what it looks like. Forty minutes. So the cheesecake has been chilled, come out of the oven and chilled. And so now I'm going to line it with the last layer of Oreos and then put the big cookie on top and then put it back in the oven for 20 minutes and then we're done. So it's good. Do you want to try something done? It's mostly cream cheese. Why not? It's just the tiniest bit of sugar. I'm enjoying it. I've got my frozen cookie disc and this is going to go on the top and then get cooked in the oven. It's a bit big. Okay, so this is how it came out. Now you can see like on the edges that it's a little bit rough, but it tasted really good. And yeah, that's all that really matters in the end, isn't it? Also, can we just appreciate those layers? Like that's yummy. And I mean, the person that I made it for liked it. So yeah, yum, yum, yum.